Okay, we made it to Purano. Um, basically, we got off the plane and we changed in the car and we made it to the slopes. And we had a very good half day because we only started at about one. Very empty, it's like having a place to yourself, very local. It's just that it's a very small resort, so you kind of can do it in one day, actually, half a day. Now we're in this Michelin Bib Gourmet place. I can't read the name of this place, I'll put it up there, but... Day 2, we just got off the chairlift, Jen is adjusting his boot. Let's check it out, a lot more people today, but still not crazy. Okay, so to round up, we went to Japan, we flew into Asahi Kawa via Haneda. So Singapore Haneda, Haneda, Asahi Kawa, and then basically we went to a different mountain every day. First day we were in Kamui, then we moved to Urano, then we moved to Hiroro, and then Asahi Dake. And I kind of changed my mind on Japan a little bit for snowboarding. I think so far, I kind of prefer Canada, because I feel like Japan is very small. But this trip, because we drove around, I thought it was really fun. And I think in Japan, even when there isn't a lot of snowfall, you still can find good pockets of of snow and in fact the pockets of powder. So my favourite was Kiroro because I think the snow was extra good that day and because they have the lift goes pretty high for night skiing so we could actually ski right until it was late like night skiing and then Asahi Dake I feel like I need to go back we didn't have a guide this time so we tried to find cool off his routes but it wasn't always the easiest so I feel like I need to go back but I think those two were my favourite so I think there's a lot more to see other than just Niseko which I find slightly pricey these days Oh my gosh, that was pretty intense. I almost fell into the creek at one point. Couldn't tell that it was a creek. But anyway, I'm out. I'm back. All was good. Still alive. And it just started snowing again. Yes! Hey, we're here in Asahi Dake and apparently there's only one cable car that goes up every 20 minutes. We're gonna do that. I think there's some hiking involved. And then we're gonna try to go down hopefully what is fresh snow. Okay, so it's not really patrolled this area, so we have a beacon. So we can find each other in case of an avalanche. Basically a long stick so you can push it through the ice and shovel so you can dig. Hopefully we don't have to use any of this today, but you know, safety first. Okay, Asahi Dake, let's go. Suto. Okay, we're here. We're gonna join the other borders there. One of the trails before we go explore. Okay, so we just had the hike up because it goes down and up. Check it out. Everyone's like doing a hike. We just came from there. Can't really see anything really. We tried to reach the top of this ridge, which you also cannot see. And we're gonna go down there, but you can't see anything. So we're just gonna go back down. We're gonna try to hike there. Are we mad? A little bit. So we just hiked up this damn thing. Just gonna go down this thing now, but I don't think I'm gonna hold the camera because <laughs> falling here is not gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, we found the path. I don't know if you can see there is where we were trekking like fools earlier and now we're on top of this really steep hill. Okay, I see the light aka the top of the slope. Oh my gosh, this is so deep. Check it out, it's like knee deep. Right. I can see the trail from where I am. As in, I thought we can go down there. Man. Can go down there? Right? No. Clearly, I'm back in Singapore. <laughs> okay, so anyway, my uh, camera ran out of battery when I was in Asahi. Dake. But I just wanted to wrap up the video to give you my lowdown on the place. Okay, number one, I would highly recommend getting a guide. We actually did try to get a guide, but booked things really last minute and all the guides were full. So I didn't get a guide for two reasons. One, for safety reasons. Honestly, if you go off piece, and the whole reason for going to that mountain is to do the off piece. Because if you're gonna do the on piece runs, I don't think it makes sense because there are only two runs and there are better mountains to do that. So get a guide, especially if it's your first time. So you, number one, can enjoy it more because we didn't really dare to venture out too far. Second, tip definitely bring your avalanche equipment it is i think almost everyone was carrying avalanche equipment better to be safe than sorry also make sure you learn how to use the avalanche equipment otherwise there is no point in that this is not a beginner mountain it's really i would say intermediate to advanced i really felt like i was probably one of the most noob ones there we tried to follow this snowboarder when we i think on one of our last runs because we wanted to go to check out some really cool untouched snow and we said we'll try to follow him I tell you within five minutes I couldn't keep up with him he was so fast so definitely not beginner friendly okay so top tips get a guide make sure you bring your safety equipment go with a friend and yeah be safe and have fun but Asahi Dake definitely would recommend so anyway that's the end of my Japan trip just gonna say bye please give me a like and share if you like this video let me know if you want more such like not just travel videos but I guess sports travel videos travel sports travel let me know what sort of videos you like in the comment box below and otherwise I will catch you on Facebook and on Instagram and on TikTok see you soon